In this lesson, we will make the skirt unit of our dress. It's one of the simpler units. You will find that you'll be repeating many of the construction details you've gone through on your blouse. You'll also find that much of your time will be taken in stitching long seams. To keep you from getting bored with this repetition, such as stitching four long seams and making four separate darts, I have asked Mrs. Morning to help me. I'll cover each of the details at least once before I pass the unit on to her. I'm going to start on the back skirt unit. This skirt pattern calls for a center back seam. In order to keep from handling the fabric any more than is necessary and to save time, we'll remove the pins from along that center seam. And then fold the pattern back just far enough so that I can stitch the seam without removing the pattern. I can do that because I folded the fabric wrong side out before it was cut out. Now the front also has a center seam which will be stitched in the same way. And Mrs. Morling will take care of that while I'm working on the back unit. In order for the skirt to hang evenly, it should be stitched with the grain line, which means in each case, stitch it from the hem to the waistline. This pattern also calls for a pleat, which can be stitched in before the pattern's removed. Ordinarily, I would just turn the pattern back and stitch it right in. But in order for you to see that pleat that I'm talking about, I'll turn this around. Here is the line indicating where the pleat goes, and that has been transferred to the fabric with carbon. The pattern tells me to stitch above this dot. I'll put that back in the machine in the same way it was, so I'll stitch from the lower part to the top or with the grain. We'll fasten the lower end of the pleat by back stitching. And this will give you an idea of what the pleat will look like when finished. On your skirt, 
you will need to know where the pleat folds over at this lower edge. I have through to the fabric with carbon, but I need the marking on the right side, so I'll transfer that through with basting. Remember that the basting stitch is the longest stitch you make on your machine. And this is how the basting will look at the lower edge of your pleat. Press across the pleat seam to get it smooth. And then match up the basting stitches at the lower edge and press in place. Pin the pleat down the lower edge and at the waistline. And then next I'll put in a row of e-stitching along the waistline, which I'll use later when I join the blouse to the skirt. It will also help hold the pleat in place. Since this is a line of e-stitching, I can stitch straight across the waistline. It's a good idea to stay stitched the left side where the placket will go. Mrs. Marling, will you please take these same steps on the skirt front? Put this row of e-stitching across the waistline and then go ahead and put in the stay stitching at the side seam where the placket will come. Stay stitching always goes in with the grain. I'll make one of the darts in order to review the method I use. Use a pin to bring the two marked lines together. And then start stitching at the point of your dart. Catch only one thread and make a couple stitches. Bring in a piece of paper right up against the needle and line it up with your marked line at the edge and stitch. Now, Mrs. Morling, will you complete this unit by stitching the other three darts? And here is the front skirt unit with the center front seam stitched and pressed open, the ease line across the waistline, and the stay stitching at the left side seam. Now, there's one more detail on this that I want to complete and that is the soft pleat at the waistline. I have the marks on the wrong side, and again, I want to see them on the right side. And since I'm going to be making these pleats immediately, I can mark them through with pins. Bring your pin in and let it follow the line right straight down. My pattern tells me to fold on the solid line and bring that line over to the broken line. And when you have your pleat formed correctly, it will be straight across the top. Pin it in place. Fold on the solid line, bring to the broken line. 
and then stitch across the top of those pleats along the seam line. Now we have the front unit and the back unit completed. We need to lay these out flat on a table to pin the side seams. Place the right sides together and match the notches. Then smooth out the material, keeping the edge to, edges together. Pin in as many places as you need to, to hold them there. Up here on the left-hand side, we don't need to pin it, because that's left open for the placket. And now, Mrs. Morning, will you take this and stitch those two long seams? She'll stitch from the hem toward the waistline. And on the left side, she'll stitch up to this dot and back stitch for the placket. Here's Mrs. Morling with the skirt. And next time, we'll complete this unit by putting in the hem.